Hello everyone, I'm Sam Maddox and we are here with Riddle School 4. We've already gone to kindergarten, middle school, we just completed high school. I'm a, I'm a little curious where the fourth one's gonna send me, so let's head on in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Accessing, analyzing map system. Okay. Analyz uh, analyzation process complete. Riddle school four. Okay. I'm I'm not sure why it's uh why it is this way, okay. Um Hello? Wait, whoa, 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 what? 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 Um, oh! What's going on? Phil's teacher, Mr. Munch, was the original architect of Riddle University. The school was built above a long pit. A long pit of lava that he himself dug near an active underwater volcano. His plan to murder Phil Eggtree to forever rid him of this world succeeded. And no one cared. Every other student of Riddle University eventually died from car wrecks, old age, and unforeseen disasters. Jesus! Each one on their deathbed whispered their final wish. Please don't let there be any more Riddle School games. What the hell? What? Stay tuned after the credits to see your time? What do you mean? There was it. There, nothing happened. Director John Pro, animator John Pro. What has happened? I died. That's it. Every everyone is gonna be John Pro. That okay? Why? And why? Okay. The 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 person but sitting behind Phil. Looked oddly familiar. Um. Ninja fan. Okay, sure. This says every book has a start and a finish. A series must have a beginning and an end. I deliberately sucked all the uh, room for another sequel out of this series so that it too may end. John bro. <laughs> what? You beat the game in 10.6 seconds. You've also unlocked real fun facts and special features now available in men menu. What? Real fun facts. Uh, real fun facts. Fun facts change for accuracy after you beat the game. Time to make two days, frame rate, 30 frames per second, library uh, items, 160 plus frames. No more than 5,000. Oof. Rooms and map. One accessible. Scenes. Two scenes. I remember when I went to the San Diego Comic Con for the first time back in 2008. Tom Fulp asked me if I had plans to make Riddle School 4, to which I said something along the lines of, I'm thinking about making a fourth one. At some point after I started making it, I lost motivation, and at the same time, people started making urgent requests for a fourth game. So I decided, even though I told my fans I'd never make the game, that I'd go ahead and make this. As I type this now, I have no clue what the reaction of the Newgrounds public will be, but I hope that they enjoy playing it as much as I enjoyed making it. I laughed so hard! Whew. 
click here to see fake fun facts. Time to make 10 months. Library item 600. Rooms and map. 20, sorry, 48 rooms. Frame rate 30. Frames uh, 10,000 scenes, five scenes. I made this finale to the Riddle School series because I've probably gotten more messages in the Newground PM box and more comments on my user page blog posts about Riddle School 4 than anything else. I said I was never going to make this game, but that was simply a diversion until I finally unleashed this beast. And now that's it, now that it's out, I'm certain I won't make any more. Wait. Interesting. Okay. Special features. Uh, what happened to all the characters? How the life of every character since the first Riddle School game turned out? Sure. What happened to all the characters? All right. Fred, male, or gender, male, favorite thing, doing nothing, least favorite thing, doing something. Fred didn't really like school, but he thought it was wise to stay in school anyway and make the best grades he could while not doing very much. He grew up and took many effortless occupations, such as music conductor, <laughs> substitute teacher, and abstract artist. Hoo-hoo-hoo, that's... Hoo-hoo-hoo! I know a couple of people that would get very upset at that one. Uh, one day, he fell asleep uh, face first in a vat of paint. You can guess what happened. Smiley. Gender, female. Favorite thing. Education, least favorite thing. Distractions. Oh, you would not like the distractible podcast, my friend. Smiley had a legitimately good life. She grew up with perfect 100s in every one of her classes and had a long-lasting career in biomedical sciences. She got married to the perfect man who just so happened to have a smiley face for a head just like her. They spent the rest of their days together living happily in tr uh, in a treehouse in a beautiful forest. Uh, well, good for you, I guess. Zack. Gender, male, favorite thing, anything not cold, least favorite things. Freezing into ice! Zack was so determined not to be cold anymore that he bought a plane ticket to the tropics midway into the first year of college, right above a volcano, right above a volcanic island. The plane ran into a bad bit of turbulence and Zack ended up crashing through a window. He fell into an erupting volcano and froze to death. What? What the hell? The making of Riddle University, aka how Mr. Munch fulfilled his plan to murder Phil Eggtree blueprints included. Plan to kill Phil. Lol. Rhyme. One. Step one. Crossed out, build a time machine. Step one, actually, dig a hole into the lava stream. Step two, build a college on top of it. Step three, request being a teacher there and arrange seating chart for Phil to be on the hole. Oh no. Riddle University, <laughs> plans by Mr. Munch. School, long spike pit, lava, School college, build it there, underwater volcano. Whoa. Floor is less thick in one location. Set tiny explosives on thinner spot. Remote controlled. Woo. -hoo -hoo. Okay, from the desk of Mr. Munch. Description of Phil, like a tree, given to me. Bald, looks like this, always wears green. He needs to sit in the desk closest to the door so I can kill him. Here's Phil's desk. Killed Phil. Now what? I don't know. Audio commentary for the game's ending. No game should ever seriously have a commentary, but John Bro made one. Hey, I'm John Bro, and this is the commentary for the Riddle School 4 ending, because... I wanted to balloon the file size and make it look like the same size as Riddle School 3 or something similar. Um, I wanted to make a commentary just because it seemed like it would be a funny idea to have for the game because most of the game is a movie. And I figured I would have to make a commentary better than the one for Pain on the Brain 3 because that one sucked. I already had it in my mind that Phil should die in Riddle School 4. Because I got so sick of requests for a fourth Riddle School game. Um, and I, I started one before called Riddle University. But it wasn't going to be very good. I only had planned the first room, which is the one that's seen in Riddle School 4. 
And I think it was just ripping off of the idea of another game where you had to make a fishing pole out of basic objects like a pencil and a string. I don't remember exactly. So my friend Yoshi Egg came over. He did. Uh, he was the other voice in the Pain on the Rain 3 commentary. And I said, I'm going to make Real School 4 tonight. And he's like, all right. So I started with that room. And I started animating Phil falling to his death in a lava pit. There were several ways he could have died, but we figured that was the funniest and the easiest to make. And one of my computers is a flash computer, and one of them is an internet computer. So I have to use a flash drive to go between the two. So I went to Yoshi Egg, who was on the internet computer playing RuneScape, and I said, Hey, can I use the computer for a second? I need to find some sad music for when Phil dies. <laughs> it was funny. He said I could never imitate exactly how I sounded whenever I said that, but I tried, so... Um, and one night, this game was born, mostly this movie, and we laughed our heads off watching the ending. Well, that's really about it. I need to think of more to say. The real reason I made this game was because I wanted to see the reaction on Newgrounds. When I was starting to make the first game out of the series, I wasn't picturing at all that I would ever make something like this. I was just trying to make a ripoff of Pico's School by Tom Fulp, and... Now it's a four-parter where he dies. <laughs> this is the best game ever. This is my favorite of the whole series, and it always will be. I'm going to try to scream like Phil again. No, that's not quite it. Oh, well. You beat the game in zero seconds. You've also unlocked real fun facts. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that was Riddle School 4. Woo! Okay. All right, but all seriousness, hold on. There's uh, there's something here in the real fun facts. Uh, here's the fake fun facts. Uh, in the fake fun facts, the final sentence, where is it? I said I was never going to make this game, but that was simply a diversion until I finally unleashed this beast. And now that it's out, I'm certain I won't make any more. And since this isn't the fake facts, I'm, I'm pretty darn certain that there is another one, so I'm going to be looking for it. But anyway, um... <laughs> I guess, um, that was Riddle School 4. Phil's dead! So we'll see if there actually is a fifth one. But, you know what? Maybe there isn't one, but who knows. But anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. And as always, I'll catch you in the next episode. So goodbye! I think.